service menus on uh, Green Star Compact Boilers. So spanner and okay in for a second. There's nothing on menu one on the SI, we'll go to menu two. So normally you'd have 2.1A, which is range rate, we don't have. We got 2.1C, which is the pump curve. And this, we can change this from one is minimum, four is maximum, depends on the system obviously, or zero is auto. So we can, if we're on auto, we can change certain settings ourselves. So this is a pump saving mode, it's either four or five uh, energy saving. Now, because we've put the pump in auto, we can alter H is the minimum pump speed and J is the maximum, so we can alter these should we wish. Now, this is the air purge. Important if we drain the boiler down, we run this air purge. This is the uh, boiler anti cycling, so once the heating is run, the boiler won't fire for another five minutes, but we can change this. And it's the same anti cycling in degrees C, so. The boiler won't fire if the heat exchanger hasn't dropped by six degrees C, but we can also change this should you want. Um, this is the heat in, how long it the boiler will wait before the heating comes on after you've used the hot water, set to one minute. We can change that if you're finding we're running the hot water a lot and the plate heat exchanger is cooling down, the water's taking too long to heat up after you've used it last. This is a service reminder, so we can change this up to 12 after every service. This is what the blue light does, whether it comes on during operation or just when it's at fault. This is a turbine delay in seconds. So if we don't, if we're finding the boilers firing for hot water when we don't want it to, we can change the delay in when the boiler gets a signal to when it fires for hot water. This can save your energy in certain situations. Uh, and that's all we got. There's normally another um, pump, uh, pump purge, but we don't have in this boiler. So we can get back out.